Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at another quilt versus fabric video. In my previous video I did show you the new quilt mod loader for Minecraft Java Edition. I am on the latest release of Minecraft which is version 1.18.2 and now we are able to use the new quilt mod loader for Minecraft Java Edition. Today we're going to do an FPS comparison video between quilt and fabric. And we're going to have a look at the Sodium mod in particular because I know some of you have been wondering about how the Sodium mod performs with the Quilt mod loader. So we're going to do an FPS comparison of the Sodium mod on Minecraft the Java edition on version 1.18.2 and it's going to be a Quilt mod loader versus the Fabric mod loader. And I'm going to run a few tests and see which one of the two mod loaders, whether it's Quilt or Fabric, is going to give me the best FPS performance in my Minecraft Java game. As you guys can see right now I am running the quilt mod loader so if you have a look at the top left there it does say Minecraft Java edition version 1.18.2 I am using the multi MC launcher to run the quilt instance here and you can see it says quilt loader this is version 0.16.0 and this is the beta version of quilt if I go into my mod section here you can see that I've only got the sodium mod installed I've got the mod menu mod installed as well which allows me to see what mods I have got installed here and I do have the Sodium mod installed as well. So I am running Sodium on version 1.18.2 on the Quilt mod loader, which is really cool that we are able to use some of the fabric mods on the new Quilt mod loader. So let's go ahead and start the test now and have a look at what kind of FPS Sodium gives us on the Quilt mod loader on Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18.2. Alright, so I am running one of my FPS maps here where we are able to test our FPS and then compare it to other mods as well. This is actually a simple flat world here that I have gone ahead and created and we can actually go ahead and see what kind of FPS we get in here and then we can compare it with the fabric mod loader as well with the sodium installed obviously. So if I actually press F3 you guys can see that I am running the quilt mod loader here. If I go into my options over here you can see that I have set my FOV to Quake Pro because the higher the FOV the lower the FPS amount. If I go into my video settings you can see that I have gone ahead and changed everything to the maximum possible here so the render distance is on 32 chunks there and I have gone ahead and changed all of the other settings in the quality section to fancy and the highest possible sliders. I haven't touched the performance settings over here I've left them as the default and I'm going to do the same thing for the fabric test as well. So let's go back inside our game here and as you guys can see on this this flat world I am getting the FPS of 1460 on average I would say so on the quilt mod loader on the flat world test I am getting 1460 FPS now let's actually jump into the winter stress test map which actually puts a lot of stress on my PC and we're gonna try and see what kind of FPS I do get in the winter stress test map so let me go ahead and jump into that and I'll be right back Alright, so I am now inside the winter FPS stress test map, which I have also created. And as you guys can see, there is a lot of stuff happening here. And in terms of my FPS, it is actually fluctuating. So on the lower side, I am seeing it dip down to the 70s there. And on the higher side, I am seeing it reach up into the lower 90s. On average, I would say I am getting close to 84 FPS. As you guys can see, everything has been turned to the maximum in the video settings. And in this map there is a lot of stuff happening as well so it's going to be putting a lot of stress on my system so in terms of the quilt mod loader and then using sodium on the winter fps stress test map we are getting 84 fps on average i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing now so i'm going to compare the results with the sodium mod on the fabric mod loader and obviously the sodium mod was actually built on the fabric mod loader so it's going to be interesting to see what kind of FPS we are getting on the original mod loader where the sodium mod was actually made on. So I'm going to be right back, I'm going to load up my game with the sodium mod and the fabric mod loader on version 1.18.2. Alright so we are back with the fabric mod loader and I am back in the regular flat world here doing the FPS test. If I press F3 on my keyboard here you can see that I am running Minecraft 1.18.2 and I am using the fabric mod loader. You can see that I am running 
running this on the multi MC similar to how I was running this before as well and if I go into my options over here you can see that the FOV is on Quake Pro and the video settings are exactly the same everything has been turned to the maximum and the quality everything has been changed to fancy and the maximum possible sliders over here and performance has been left as the default when you first install sodium so let's go back inside this map over here and as you guys can see similar to the quilt mod loader I am getting on average 1450 FPS over here it is actually reaching 1480 FPS as well but it is also dipping down as well so on average I would say I am getting 1450 FPS on this map using the fabric mod loader so there's not much difference between the fabric mod loader and the quilt mod loader in my opinion when I am using this flat world test over here I'm now going to jump into the stress test map and have a look at what kind of FPS I am getting in that particular map all right so we are now inside the FPS stress test map as well and I have let the game run for a few minutes here so everything can be properly loaded into the world and as you guys can see in terms of the FPS results they're pretty much similar with what we were seeing on the quilt mod loader so on average I would say I'm getting pretty much the same here I'm getting the 84 FPS it is actually dipping down to the 70s there but it is actually touching the high 90s as well so it is pretty much the similar result to what I was seeing on the quilt mod loader now these tests aren't perfect and when you actually do play the game you might experience some other results especially when we are transitioning from one biome to another so just bear that in mind that no FPS test is ever going to be perfect when we are comparing on the initial impressions I would say that quilt mod loader is able to stand neck and neck with the fabric mod loader and they are pretty much similar because the quilt mod loader is actually based off the fabric mod loader so we can actually expect to see similar results so if you guys have been wondering how the quilt mod loader performs in terms of performance then go ahead and try out some of the fabric performance mods on the quilt mod loader and see how you get on in my tests I have seen that both of them actually give me the similar results that we are seeing right now and I think it is safe to use the quilt mod loader and see how you get on very soon we may start seeing quilt only mods available on the quilt mod loader so it's going to be quite interesting to see what kind of mods we are able to use on the quilt mod loader and how they will compare with the fabric mod loader as well hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video if you guys have done similar tests then do let me know in the comment section below what your results were and what kind of fps you guys were getting inside your minecraft java game on the quilt mod loader and what you were getting on the fabric mod loader if you have any comments or queries about how to install the quilt mod loader or how to install the fabric mod loader then do leave them in the comment section below i will do my best to try and help you guys out please also do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching